Hi there, I want to um, discuss a topic that I have found that causes some consternation in s certain type of Christians, particularly those outside the Catholic faith, um, because the, there is some notion, there is a fundamental precept that they hold uh, evidently um, they hold strong to that only we pray to Jesus and to God, which, which in, in most cases, that is very, the right thing to do. However, there is, and I'll, and I'll explain, there is, um, there is appropriateness, um, not saying it's, uh, re required, but it actually is it is kind of suggested and it is practiced by saints. Um, and I'll go into that. So there's basically four different types of prayers that the Catholic Church teaches, or it is um, just four types. Prayer is just basically a, a communication channel that we have to, uh, to the heavenly world where there are angels, saints, and of course God and Jesus and his throne. So there, there is the prayer there's a one prayer is called the adoration prayer it's where you are in worship sh showing God his glory you're worshiping God you're maybe praying on your knees and you're 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 giving glory to God and all the creation for life um, also it's sort of and and you can get into a thanksgiving prayer through that um, you know giving thanks for what you, what he's giving you for water for food uh, but you're adoring God and, and, and many even Catholics practice this in the Adoration Chapel where they will get in front of the tabernacle where his where the, where the Eucharist is which is a, 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 you know his body uh, in on earth um, and they will and his humanity shared with us and we will adore uh, uh, God uh, God his son his son his humanity his divine humanity on earth at the Adoration Chapel and uh, we would only do that to Jesus uh, and God the Father. We would not adore a saint in that fashion or even Mary. There's another one called the petition or intercession. That is quite different from a prayer of of, uh, of, of adoration. Um, 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 that is basically, that prayer particularly is... Um, uh, is basically making requests. It is not adoring. It's saying, "Hey, pray for me. Uh, could you help me?" Could, and, and maybe you're in a state of mind where you say, "Hey, I know you, God. You're close to God, uh, Jesus, more than I am. You're acknowledging that fact." And I believe, and I, and this is taught in not only the Bible, but Jesus is building mansions for people, and and and, Mar and some have bigger mansions, closer to the throne than 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 other saints are. Uh, for example, martyrs, the apostles, are very close to Jesus and, and His throne and God, and Mary, who's a who was a first apostle, who 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 actually triumphed over Satan by consenting to the the will of the angel to bring Jesus in here to, for the salvation of mankind. She's very, very, very close to the throne, probably the closest, of, more closer than all the apostles. So don't think you are an equal relationship with the Lord Almighty, with God Almighty, or in His or His Jesus. You're not. Unless you have, uh, or unless you have um, have gone through trials, you passed them, and of course you're not a sinner. You're, you have a holy life, and you've done a lot of. You've martyred. You're, you've died for for the for the faith. I mean, um, the you know, in, in many we in, they are there to intercede for us. They are there because they're closer to Jesus, and they will. They will send our prayers to Jesus and Jesus if he responds to them he will come back and he will act upon him and I'll give you an example you remember the the the, the wedding at one example of that in the Bible is the wedding at Cana remember the Cana was the um was um the first miracle that Jesus did where he turned the water into uh to to wine and remember he did not do that for his for, for the will of God. He actually did that because Mary asked her, asked him. He says, there is no wine here at this wedding. And he said, don't you know, woman, he said, woman, it's not my time. And he he did it for her. Um, he actually obeyed her and complied and did that 
that that uh, miracle for her. Um, so, so that that suggests that indicates that uh, Jesus will respond to saints' prayers if we ask Him. It's an it still goes through the mediator Jesus to God, and then God. And it is, but it, it is going through someone who's very trusted in, in to, to God. Um, and I'll explain, there's also verses that um, recognize that this is actually happening in heaven. One of them is in Revelations, and it says, Angel came and stood on the altar with a golden censer, and he was, in, and there were, he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar for the throne, and the smoke of the incense of the prayer, with the prayers of the saints, rose before God for from the hand of the angel so the angel had those prayers that were the intercession prayers of this to the saints and he was given for god you know so this is happening all the time and also in uh, revelations 5 7 5 chapter 5 7 it says um they were holding the golden bowls of full of incense which are the prayers of god's people and they sang a new song also we also know that um also, Peter, let's see if I can find that verse. And Peter also um, believed in uh, intercession. Let's see. Uh, oh, another thing is uh, John. John said in chapter 9, verse 31, We know God does not listen to sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. In other words, if you are sinning and you pray, it says, um, God was not listen to you, but if you are doing the will of God, meaning not sinning willfully, and you've gone through repentance and you've been forgiven, God will listen. God will listen to you, but He will also listens to those who doesn't. So, in other words, um, intercession would be appropriate if you're a sinner and you need a saint. You pray to a saint and say, "Pray for me." Pray for me that I may be a better person. I'm a wretched. You're you're acknowledging that you are humble and you um, are um, you've done wrong. Uh, you've done kind of wrong, and you know you're not worthy to be even communicating to the Lord. So at, and especially in those occasions, you're a sinful person, and um, it's kind of like you you fear the Lord, right? And so you're asking, uh, you can ask uh, an angel, say, please help me to become a better person um, through the power, you know, through the power, uh, pray for me. Um, um, and also in Timoth First Timothy 2, uh, uh, ver uh, verse 1, he says, uh, he says, I urge that all supplications, prayer, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people. And what that means is, um, if you do make an intercessory prayer, um, then you want to make it for others. And I'll give you an example. Have you ever, and this is why I'm, you, this will really ring a bell, okay? Like I had, did anybody, I remember one person come up to me in the street when I was out and he says, could you, could you pray for me? And I pray for him to Jesus. He came to me. He was lost. So that's an intercession prayer. And also the saint, even the saints have mentioned, um, we need your prayers. Pray for us. We're getting persecuted. And they ask other church members to pray for them. Even on earth, they says, pray for us so that so that your your prayers will be heard and we will receive. You know, we need your prayers. To, for the for the kingdom of God, they were asking for the intercession of prayers from others. They could have prayed to God also themselves, but they know that when God hears many the the petitions and supplications of many for a particular outcome, it is more effectual that prayer, the prayer of many, than the prayer of one. Um, and also, I don't know if you know this, but even, um, uh, do not be anxious by anything, but in, in, by, but in prayer, by at prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known by God. Um, 
And in Hebrews 1, it says, Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Aren't even the angels sent as ministering spirits to serve those that will inherit salvation? They're here to serve you so that you will inherit salvation. What does that mean? How are they going to serve you? Well, it's through intercessory prayer. You ask them. You petition them. They don't do it freely. And then on Acts 12, Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. That's intercessory prayer. So basically, if anyone says intercessory prayer is wrong, they're basically going against the Bible. Mary even says is actually there to intercede on your behalf, who's very close to Jesus. She's there. And Jesus will listen to her, to him, because in the wedding of Cana, he obeyed her and listens to her petitions. So if you ask Mary, Mary will bring them to Jesus and God. That is a love. That's relationship. That is not worship, okay? Do not get them mixed up. Now, there, there is another prayer of contrition and repentance. But that is, repentance is always... Is, is 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 to the Father. You're right. To the Father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will not do it again. I'll try not to do it again. I'll do better. You know? Jesus says, forgive, ask, for, you know. And he also said, I do not know, I don't know if you know this, but getting to the contrition of prayer, um, 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 that um, we've also, and I don't want to mention too much about that here, but um, there are verses uh, that clearly state um, that the that, that um, we need to forgive others, and we as a and it says um, that um, I don't know if you remember this, but Jesus gave the power of the apostles to forgive sins. It was a sacrament, and 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 he gave them the Holy Spirit. He says, "Now you can forgive the sins of others." Um, I believe that's in James. Um, or John, but you can find out when uh, Jesus gave. That's we call that the sacrament of penance. In other words, it was the uh, it was given to them. They were the priests. the The apostles were the first priests, and they. If you ask them to forgive, hey, can you forgive my sin? You disclose, confess to your brother, and, and to a priest like the the apostles. They said they had the power to forgive. So for you to say, hey, that only Jesus forgives and nobody else, that is non-biblical as well. So remember, intercessory prayer is okay, and this is practiced by the Catholic Church. It is not a sin, and it is not condemned. I just gave you verses, revelations, angels are bringing those petitions before God, the mediator, and heaven all the time. And even Peter and all the apostles asked for the church to pray for them. I had people... Sinners come to me and ask me to pray for them. Why not? Why cannot Mary pray for you or me? Why is that wrong? Why can I ask Mary, who's divinely relation? Why is that wrong? Just ask yourself. So I'm a firm believer in the Hail Mary, Holy Rosary, and I believe it will change your life, intercessory prayer, building those relationships with heaven. I did not say adore Mary. I said call her blessed, as it says in Luke. They will call me blessed all my generations and ask, say, pray for us sinners. Now they are dead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of life womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of the Son of God, Jesus. Pray for us, pray for us sinners, pray for us sinners. Now they are dead. Amen. And remember, and, and just note that re pray for sinners is doing what the Apostle Peter says. When you do an intercession prayer, may include everyone. It's a selfless prayer. And remember, it's not a prayer of repentance. It's not a prayer of adoration. It is a prayer of respect and recognizing, quoting the Bible verses of St. Elizabeth, of Angel Gabriel, 
and then making that into a sorcery prayer to help to Mary. And she will go to Jesus after you say that prayer and it will work wonders in your life.